Greetings, grave robbers, and welcome back to the infirmary. Hi, everybody. TV's Noah here. Lara's not here. Uh, and uh, we got a bad, bad case of mag flu. Uh, we love, we love Magfest. We do. Um, it was the first uh, maskless um, Magfest, um, and Lara and I. Uh, we went through so much hand sanitizer uh, in an attempt to prevent what has happened. Uh, it's not, we don't have COVID or anything, but uh, we are very tired and very gross. Um, it is taking all of my willpower not to cough right now. <laughs> uh, if I do cough, I will probably cut it out. But uh, it's it's been a, a cough-heavy week here at uh, Stay Doomed HQ. Um, and uh, while we did watch some of the cape, and uh, we got a lot to say about it, uh, the idea of recording and then editing the horrible noises <laughs> that would be recorded uh, was not feasible for our uh, tiny squishy bodies. So uh, instead of suffering uh we are again gonna delay episode 200 uh that being said uh, a few bit of of bookkeeping i do want to let you guys know in be in the know i'm very tired uh first and foremost the cape might be the best stay doom show we've ever watched and by that i don't mean it is the highest quality tv show that we've watched the cape seemed to be designed to be covered by Stay Doomed. Like, there is so much to say <laughs> in what's going on here. Like, you know, imagine if Turn On got 10 episodes. <laughs> like, that's what we're looking at here. So, Laura and I are very excited uh, to bring you the cape. Uh, the Cape is looking to be uh, a five-parter uh, because we got through the pilot and I was like, I easily have an hour's worth of stuff to say. And then we watched more and I was like, this is going to be long. <laughs> but I'm, I'm super excited. Like, we haven't had a show like this in quite some time. Uh, two, uh, this is kind of starting to run parallel uh, with Razzie Month. So Razzie Month will happen, sort of, is what we're looking at here. Uh, the the Razzie movies came out, and uh, the nominees are Exfornables, the fourth Expendables, uh, The Meg 2, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, um, The Exorcist movie, The it's like the sequel to The Exorcist, it's just, it's another another exorcist uh and uh, another film that escapes my brain at this moment uh so what we've done with like freaks and geeks is that we've done like the occasional pilot in between uh there may be the occasional razzy movie in between episodes of the cape uh, i will also say that uh if we do the exorcist it will be a solo video because lara said no uh, Blood and Honey might happen. Blood and Honey will probably win, if I had to guess, in my Razzie expertise, that that will be the winner of the Razzies. Uh, as someone who votes, I'm, that's what I'm guessing. Uh, but, uh, must say, a little disappointed in the Razzie. There's no, like, fun Razzie movie this year. Like, May Blood and Honey is, like, the closest. But, like, there's no 365 Days or Good Morning or uh, uh, Movie 43 or whatever the heck it was where it's like, wow, this looks like a bad... It's all, like, sequels and stuff and cash grabs. Uh, this continues the trope of the Razzies being less fun than uh, it's been in previous years. In any case, uh, I don't feel well. And uh, something's got to come out. So here's just a little chat with you guys uh, about uh, my sickness. 
do uh, be sure to wash your hands uh, after listening to this because uh, I don't want you to get sick. I would not wish this on anybody. Uh, but the cape is coming. The cape is coming. Thank you so much for uh, hanging with us. Uh, I'm drinking orange juice and uh, going to lay down soon. So until next time, <clears throat> stay doomed. <laughs>